Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Beyond the Cage. I'm your host, Jim Graham, and joining me on the line, we have a special guest. He will be fighting Frank Mir in the main event of UFC Brisbane. He is the Super Samoan Mark Hunt. And Mark, thanks for coming on the show. Hey, thanks, Jim. Thanks for having me on the show. Appreciate it. Want to get uh, to this first, of course, with you taking on uh, Frank Mir. Um, he's been a around the sport a long time. Uh, much like yourself, and is it crazy to think that you two haven't fought before uh, this moment here in 2016? Yeah, I think it's great. I mean, since you know, I've been in the Asian circuit and he's been in the marathon, so yeah, it's great we meet here. We live in a different community, Mr. Now, looking at Frank Muir, of course, he is known for his jujitsu. Are you worried at all uh, about the fight when, if it goes to the ground? Why? Why are you at that? Now, standing up, of course, you should have the advantage uh, with your excellent uh, kickboxing skills. Do you expect um, anything in particular uh, from him standing up, Mark? Yeah, I think he's a great striker as well. We'll start. It's, we'll have to start standing up, of course. But uh, yeah, sooner or later, he'll try and take it to the ground. But we'll see what happens. Now, of course, the, this fight is scheduled for 25 minutes. Minutes. Do you expect the fight to uh, go that long? Well, I think it's gonna last that long. I think it's gonna last. You know, might might even go one or two rounds. So uh, we'll see what happens. I wanted to get your uh, thoughts on uh, Glory, uh, just because of your background in kickboxing. And is that an organization that, you know, maybe when you're done with uh, MMA that you would try uh, a couple fights in, in Glory, or is that something that no longer interests you anymore? Yeah, I already, it doesn't interest me anymore. I already climbed the mountain of kickboxing. You know, I've already become the KRL World Champion. I don't really want to do that again. Which martial arts is uh, something I love to do now, and, and I'm in the top ten of that division, the UFC, and I want to be the world champion of the UFC. So it's a goal that you are chasing, and it's, um, it's all that really matters to me is the fight on Sunday. So it matters for glory. Do you watch uh, any kickboxing still at all, or do you just focus on you know watching uh, MMA and the UFC? I don't really watch. Uh, I mean, I do watch uh, a little bit when I get on here, but I don't really focus on any combat sports when I'm not doing it myself. Uh, yeah. Jim Graham talking with Mark Hunt. You can follow him on Twitter at Mark Hunt 1974. And Mark, of course, once again, you're fighting in Australia. And uh, what do you like most about fighting so close to home? Well, the reason I'm flying at home is because I don't have to travel anywhere. I just, you know, jump in the car and go to wherever it is I'm training and, and fighting. So <laughs> it's not uh, 14, or 14 hours or 30 hours traveling anywhere. You know, getting used to acclimatization and jazz. Yeah. Now, of course, your last fight was against Bigfoot Silva at UFC 193, and uh, that was at the huge stadium. Uh, there in Melbourne, and just with your experience uh, in combat sports, have you ever had an experience walking out to a stadium with filled with that many people before? Yeah, it was great. You know, I'm, I walked out to eighty thousand people in Japan. It was great. It's, it feels like at home. It's, it's awesome. To, it was awesome to walk out in Melbourne. You know, it was at home with so much people. It was great. It's a good feeling. And does that make you? proud that your country was able to achieve the largest UFC attendance uh, in history to date? It's good. It makes me feel pretty proud, especially for me to be a part of it. You know, it's like history right there. It's great. I think it's awesome. It gives me a furry feeling. Sorry about that. Um, I wanted to get your thoughts, of course, UFC 193, Ronda Rousey against Holly Holm. We all know how that went down. And uh, just as a fellow fighter, did that shock you to see Rousey go down the way she did? Um, well, not really. It's just a fight, to be honest. You know, I mean, 
seen me in both parts of England and um, one of them lost. Basically, that's what happens in fighting. And one day, both two people are going, and one person goes out there, leaves with someone who comes up with a jaw, who knows? But it's basically what happened. So, you know, the better fighter won the night, and, you know, it could have been either way. I mean, the runner could have came and beat high, and that's basically it. So, same thing happened with um, Fox's little weekend, you know, Misha Tate from the Holly home. You know, Misha had a really good game playing and beat Holly. And the Porter X and this club, and you know, same thing with, with, with uh, Bonner and Gears. You know, when all, both all came to one last game, I was out with the door, so. All right, I wanted to get your thoughts, Mark. Of course, uh, Stipe Miocic will be taking on Fabrizio Verdum for the heavyweight title in about two months in Brazil. And um, with having fought both gentlemen, how do you think that fight's going to play out? I don't know. The best place fighters, um, you know, I've had a lot of them. But uh, who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I'm not sitting in the same for that one. It's kind of, you know, it'll be in um, Fabrizio's hometown, so... But then I don't want to sit on the fence for that. All right, I'll get you out of here with this. Of course, uh, in a little over four months, uh, UFC 200 will be going down in Las Vegas. And I know, of course, you're fighting this weekend. But if the opportunity comes about, would you love to fight on UFC 200? Yeah, well, like I said, I'm just an employee and I'll fight the way I'm told to fight. So that's basically it. So if I get out to fight on that show, then the next fight. He is the Super Samoan Mark Hunt. You can catch him against Frank Mir in the main event on uh, Saturday, March 19th on Fox Sports 1. And Mark, thanks again for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Once again, that was Mark Hunt right here on Beyond the Cage.